All right, fam, we out here for day nine for the 30 day challenge on how to improve your relationship in the next 30 days. So if you have not watched any of the prior videos, then go ahead and check out those prior videos. They are all on my homepage. I have several different topics, one for each day. Again, we're on day nine. So today we're actually going to talk about keep them people out your business. This is how you're going to improve your relationship over the next 30 days. See, a lot of times we go and seek advice from family and from friends, associates, sometimes people sitting on the bus, somebody sitting right next to you, happen to hear something, you jump in their conversation, all because you just need to get all this stuff off your chest, right? And so because you need to get all this stuff off your chest, you start just telling everybody your business. And the reason why you're doing that is because you're really hoping that somebody comes through and validates what you actually have to say, validates where your thoughts are, validates what's actually in your gut because you want to be right. Sometimes we even secretly hoping that we're wrong because if in my gut, my gut is telling me that I'm going through X at the house and my decision really is that I really need to go. But when you go talk to your friends and family, you hoping that they tell you that they do not tell you that it's time to go. You're hoping that they're saying, OK, you know what? Sometimes this stuff happens. You got to get yourself together. X, Y, and Z, da, 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 da. So sometimes you're looking for people to not validate what that gut is saying. But here's the thing about going to seek advice. I actually already said it. You already know what you need to do. You already know what you need to do. And so instead of going out there trying to seek and find somebody to tell you what to do, you already know what you need to do. So the reason why you're going out and seeking advice is because you're scared to do the very thing that you know that you need to do. Now, that's the real about it. Yeah, that's the real about it. <laughs> you are scared to do the thing that you need to do. So you're like, okay, I'm not going to go out and do X. Hey, Jill, I see you. Thanks for watching. So how do we keep people out of our business? Or why should you keep people out of your business, first of all? You should keep them out of your business because everybody that you're telling your life story to, specifically about your relationship and anything that you're going through in life, really, but specific to this, we're talking about your relationship. The reason why you want to keep people out of your relationship is because some people do not mean you any good. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter how they express it to you. Some people just seriously do not mean you any good. And we all heard the saying, misery loves company. Misery truly does love company. Hey, Yana, I see you haven't talked to you in a while. Hey, welcome. Misery does love company, though. And so sometimes you get into these um, topics and you're talking to your friends and even your family. And the advice that they are giving to you is the very advice that they're not even taking themselves. So they are spewing all of this, what you should be doing and what I wouldn't take. And they doing all the neck rolling and the hand is moving and everything. But behind their closed doors, they're not even taking the advice that they are sharing with you. That they trying to get you to do. On top of that, if their advice is you need to move on, you need to move out, you need to do X, Y, and Z, you need to divorce them, you need to do... They're not doing that same thing. Because they're, they're quick to tell you what you should be doing in your relationship, but they're slow to take their own advice because they have their own insecurities. They have their own fears that they're dealing with. So you need to keep people out of your business because they... A lot of people, not everybody, but a lot of people don't mean you no good. A lot of people want to see you fail. A lot of people want to keep you just as miserable as they are. So they want to they want to invite you to their party. So y'all both could be miserable, miserable together. One of the things that you should pay attention to is when you go to your friends, this is how you know if your friends, if your family, if your people, if your associates mean you any good. When you go to them, something that's great that's happening in your relationship and they like oh, okay oh that i mean you know that's cool or he should be doing that or she should be doing that okay 
And then when you talk to them about what's going bad, they like, oh, tell me every detail. What's going on? Like, how did you handle this? What's, what's going on? Right, right. They want to hear every detail. They want to be all in your business. And then they even want to share and tell you some of the stuff that's going on in their life. So y'all both can be miserable together in the same party together, sharing the same experience together. But every time you go to them, because not only are you sharing bad stuff, right, bad stuff, you actually know that you need to share good stuff too. Because if you're only sharing, this side note, if you're only sharing bad stuff about your spouse, why are you still there? And I know that that's not true. A lot of times we just need to be cognizant about if you're sharing stuff, don't only share, share the bad. Share the good too because you don't want your friends and family to have this bad taste in their mouth about your boyfriend, about your girlfriend, about your uh, husband or wife. They need to hear some good too. So when you go and share the good, hey George, I see you. So when you go and share the good and the only thing they have to say is, well, you know, I mean, you know, that's what they're supposed to be doing or that's what she's supposed to be doing. That's what he's supposed to be doing. But when you share the bad, they're not, they're not giving you any type of con uh, consoling you or any type of, you know what? Relationships actually have ups and downs. They go through their, you know, ebbs and flows. Sometimes this is a part of a rela relationship. This is how you handle it. This is how I actually handle it when I went through a similar situation. And most people aren't doing that because they want to see you sad, 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 sad. Because when you're sad, it makes them feel better about themselves. And they continue to have something else to talk about. Another thing, we don't want people to share our business, but we share in all of our own business. And then we get mad when other people are talking about our business, not realizing that you're part of the problem because you're sharing your business, including on social media. So you don't want people to say anything about your situation, but you're going to go on social media and talk about your situation and then get mad when people reply. Do that even make sense? That don't make no sense. People are always talking bad about me or got something to say. Then, then your next post is how people are always talking bad about you and got something to say behind your back. But you are the one who's putting all your stuff on social media. We got social media twisted. Social media is not for all your junk to go on. I'm not saying don't share anything. You can share some things. But if you are deciding to stay in your relationship, if you are deciding to stay in your marriage, you don't need to be putting your spouse on blast. And then we being incognito about it, acting like we don't act like it's so if I'm the spouse and my husband goes online talking about me, I'm not supposed to know that he's talking about me. Right. Ayana, insanity. Shh. Exactly. N no, I know that you talk about me because you and me was the only one that got into it. And so you try to be <laughs> trying to be slick like I don't know that you talk about me. And then you mad when other people got something to say. But you are giving them the ammunition, sis. You're giving them the ammunition, bruh. So if you want to keep people out of your relationship, you got you to gotta tighten that up. And when you're going through something, tighten it up. Because you're sharing all this stuff with all these people outside of your relationship. But the only person that can help you in your relationship is your boo. The only person that can help you in your marriage is your partner. That's it. Everybody is going to have something to say, whether good, bad, happy, sad. But at the end of the day, you have to make your own decisions. Keep these people out of your business. And if you do decide to share something, share it after you've gone through it. And you can, you're sharing it to help somebody else. Not because you're trying to put your spouse on blast and let, let the world know what he ain't doing, what she ain't doing, but you still there. That don't make sense. Keep all these people out your business if you want to improve your relationship. And I'm not, I'm not even dogging out family and friends because when they're giving you the advice, because they got your back. Your family and your friends got your back. So, of course, if you're talking bad about your spouse, they join in the party. They mean well, but at the end of the day, they're not helping to solve anything. And one of the things I have to say about um, other, other cultures, because 
Many of you don't know I'm actually married to a Nigerian man, so he is from Africa, and our cult we have cultural differences a lot. But in their culture and many other cultures outside of the U.S., they do have like family me family meetings, family gatherings when something is going wrong in your particular relationship. So say, for example, me and my husband, for whatever reason, we stop having sex. Well, the elders will get you two together and basically have a meeting to say, this is what happens. This is why you need to continue to have sex, whatever, whatever the topic is that y'all are struggling with at that time. But they're giving them solid advice. They're saying, you know what, this is why you two need to continue to do X, in this case, have sex. This is why things don't always go the way that you want them to go in your relationship. But if you don't have, in this case, sex with your spouse, they're going to find somebody else to have sex with. The elders come around who's been there, who's done that, who actually can give them some great advice those are the people that they are seeking out. That is one of the things I wish that we would do more here in America. I know that we did it back in the day and we got away from it because we are our own people and everything. So I get that, whatever. But if you don't have somebody in your business who can actually help you because they've been there, they've done that, you only go into the people who have never been surrounded by healthy relationships, but you're getting all of your relationship advice from them. You're not helping yourself, sis. You're not helping yourself, bruh. You are killing your relationship even further, not even realizing it, but you are helping kill your relationship. So if you want to stop killing your relationship, keep the people who don't mean you no good out of it. I'll see y'all here tomorrow for day 10.